Hello everyone, welcome back to another Media Composer tutorial. Today I want to show you three timeline features that help me every day to edit faster. All right. The first feature is called Top and Tail. You can find it in your command palette. If you decide to trim a clip, this feature allows you to do this without going in the trimming mode and without setting any in and out points. So if I want to cut off this clip right over here, I can just press the tail button and this also works in the other direction with the top button. If you're like me and you don't like to use your mouse so much, you can just navigate through your timeline, map those keys to your keyboard and extremely fast cut off clips. This comes in super handy if you're already at the position where you want to cut off your clip. You can just stay where you are and just press your shortcut and that's it. Of course, you could also just set your in and outs and press X, but I feel like this is just slightly faster. The next feature is called Extend, and that's exactly what it does. It's extending clips. Here's how you use it. Let's say you want to trim this cut right over here. You set your in point, you press Extend, and your cut gets shifted over here without trimming anything, without changing the duration of the timeline. It's basically the same as just trimming your cut over here, but it's a bit faster and if you're already in the right position, a bit more accurate. This also works in the other direction. If you set your out point, it's trimming the cut that's on your left side of the cursor. This is also a great feature to map to your keyboard. That way you just set your in or out point, press your shortcut and you're done. If you're trying to extend your clip and it's not long enough, it's just going to extend it as far as possible. Obviously all those functions, the top and tail, but also the extend function, work with video and audio. The third function I use frequently is called reverse match frame. You all know the match frame key. I mapped it to my keyboard and use it all the time. But there's also a reverse version of this function. If you're looking at a clip in your preview window, and you're wondering where and if you use this shot in your timeline, you can just press the reverse match frame key and it brings you to the exact same frame in your timeline. Obviously this is super useful if you have a huge timeline and you either want to know if you've used a certain section of a clip already in order to then use it somewhere else for example, or if you're trying to find a very specific section within your clip in your timeline. If this video was helpful, check out my other Apple tutorials as well. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.